uh, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I readdress my static grass. I've already laid the grass down, and uh, so I'm actually going to top up the grass that I've already done and bring it a bit more, bring a little bit more definition really uh, on top of it. Um, I'll just show you to explain uh, where I am. Most people would lay their track down on a board, and then you get to the point where you, you actually colour a brown uh, to give an earth effect underneath. Uh, where your, your hillside are or will be, uh, however your diorama sits. Now, uh, you can see this is plain there, and obviously I've added a little bit of grass there to show you. Uh, this is at the stage I am now. Um, so I've now got like a bone grass already laid down. I'm now actually gonna reapply more grass on top of this. And that's absolutely acceptable because what you're actually doing is giving each of these little fibers of about one or two mil a little bit more definition. And you're actually building up that, that thickness of uh, lush grass that you you try to achieve so um, it's definitely doable and you certainly will get some great results so what we're going to do is we're going to put this down and uh, i'm going to actually go to the layout and we'll show you what we're doing so it's sunday morning um, i've got a couple of hours to myself so i thought i would do some work on this side of the layout I'm just going to re-enhance some of the grass work you can see i've added some grass there um, this is a very bright green. I just want to tone all this down and get it more naturally looking now. I laid this grass over this section. This is a like a burnt grass all the way throughout down to the, the end over there. Just go down to there. So I'm going to actually tone a lot of this in. That will pretty much stay fairly the same because it's um, like a wheat kind of grass. But then I want it a little bit brighter just in some sections down down here so that's really what my aim today is play about and make this look a lot better than it was and add some little trees um, so I just want to add more scenic to this area the other thing I really would like to do today and something I've really been hoping to do and recently been playing with uh, deluxe materials for their water stuff so I'm going to add some water effects down there like an art water spill make that a bit more uh, realistic but again I'm just going to dress a bit more of the grass in there and that was the reason why I held back. So I'm going to crack on, um, I won't film the entire thing, I shall literally come back in sections and show you the progress uh, otherwise it will be a very lengthy video uh, and I'll show you the processes what I use to make any of the grasses or how I do it. So I'll crack on and um, we'll see how we go. Okay so we're going to make up our flock now I use three different well five different kinds of flock I've got medium green I've got light green and I've got a harvest flock there so I can use all three different and these sort of go from yellows up to a green and then I've got a couple of these which is the uh, this one's the moorland grass which is actually very dark and this is GM 172 and then I will also use this which is the um, summer grass flock which is GM171 open cage master and what I'm going to do is make a recipe up make them a different flavour in a sense or different recipe for uh, what I'm going to use for today so in our little round container and I'll add all this to my grass applicator just run that into there make sure you get enough that you need Should be enough. Right. Always mix some more. And then, so what I do, we've got that there. I'm actually going to grab a paintbrush, stir the end with. I don't want to use that end, I just want to break that around. Just break the tension in the lumps. Just give it a little stir around. Right. And then we're going to add, this is the summer grass. Now I really want to change the, the recipe to this so I just going to literally, I tend to add what I feel is correct. I'll just do little bits. I'll add the darker at the moment in the end and I'll just mix all this in. Now because these are all scenic fibres all made by woodland they all mix in, all, all these products mix in. You can add scatter materials and stuff like that but I'm just going to Make the grass stay. Oops. Let's try and do it that way so I can hold the pot still. 
We really need to um, mix that in. There's lots of clumps in there. And what this is doing is giving you a bright green, but the right consistency to be very grassy without being too bright. And all them little browny flecks that are in there hide and disguise quite well with the others. Just a touch more. And then I'm going to add literally just a few of these darker fibres. You've really got to be very careful with this fibery stuff because um, they are very fine. So don't blow them out of the way. Make sure you hoover up all little access fibres. Otherwise these fibres can get into your eyes and you don't want to infection in your eyes so be very careful with these little fibers make sure they're um you get rid of them correctly now again i've just added that I'll just give it another little stir in all right so what i'm going to do is just put an edge on here and this is purely to capture any glue that's going to spill out and I can sort of see what's going on. It's easier with clear tape because you can actually monitor what the, what the actual now is doing. Try not to get any little lines at this point because there'll be like little veins that will squeeze the glue out. So that's quite cool. Um, give us a little lip to work to. And I'm gonna just carry that on down through this end. With our grass applicator, you now fill it up with all your contents. I'm going to go to there, I think. That's in there. Just check the colour of that. Yeah, that's where I want it to be. Perfect. Check it works. Do a little test. That's it. Perfect. Right then, so now glue your area. I'll show you how I do this bit. This is water and glue. And now I've got that in place, I'm just gonna squeeze that down there. Give a drop of water just to feed that in. It's gonna to come to here so you can see what's going on. Right, leave it for a soap minute, just grab some water. You can see just spraying that water on, just literally blasts it everywhere. Just literally filters it all and where it needs to go. Just gonna use this to sort of spread it around a little bit. I'm not trying to do all the area, just bits and pieces. Don't mind some bits being missed. our fly squat and we're just gonna give it a little shake put me around this side there we go so I then hold this in the glue which if I just poke that in there that will make and you just wave it where you want the colouring to be it's as simple as that it's upside down laying a few layers on top and that's pretty much it really just do a bit more around that side yep that's going on quite nicely that
So I've finished all the grass uh, that I wanted to do. I'm quite happy with the way it's turned out. And if I bring the camera down, you'll just see. So you can see the fibers literally just are sticking up enough to be uh, not too long, but enough to sort of be a representation of the grass that I was trying to achieve a nice sort of layer. I'm really happy the way that's turned out. And I got a little bit of definition with different colors you can see. Uh, once that's, that's obviously just been 10 minutes, but um, once that's dry by tomorrow, that'll all match in and it'll, you won't see the, uh, the discrepancy. I found my palette out the hoover, so I dug that back out. I know you might have spotted that zoop up. So of course, what I do, obviously I've hoovered the whole track, just cleaned it all off as you saw, and uh, it also helps pull up the fibers, makes them stand up a little bit more as well. There we go, that's uh, certainly looking a lot cleaner and a lot better than it is. I'm just now going to dress this area over here, which is the uh, going to do a little bit of splash of water from the hose coming down from the water tower and then just finish off a little well around the, uh, the bottom of them two pipes so it sort of holds it better. Right, this is scenic water. Um, this you drop in hot water and it melts and then uh, you just pour it where you need it to be so got a cup of hot water and uh, for this purpose I'm going to take some of that out because I don't want all of that so I'm actually going to put that in that little pot there and drop that in the hot water I'm going to put that back in normally you just drop the whole pot in your cup and that will melt exactly how you want it to. So I'm just going to put that in there, that's now melting in there, when that melts I should pour that in there. So just literally swap the containers really, nothing else. And it's been like probably about 10 minutes now and it's hot water. I just stirred it around and it is now, just done it literally in this little spray bottle lid. So I'm just going to add a cup of, a tiny little bit of colour to it. Um, so I'm just going to add a tiny and I'm just going to mix this in. So don't worry, looking too clear. There we go. So the art is not to mix it too much, just give a little mix. So there we go, there's our scenic, very greeny tinge. So now, just going to pour that into the layout. Do a little bit on the end of the scalpel and drip it down there. So I'm just going to do that again. That's where I want it. So it looks like it's right underneath that tap. And then just a little tiny bit more down here. That's it. Plenty enough. I'm going to put that back in the hot water. There we go. It's like a bit of a... Dragging that out now because it's already looking too wet. Don't look like a swimming pool. But filling up in that little, that's perfect. And just keep stippling it around because you don't want it. I don't want it too, too deep. Make it sit there like that. It's like it's got a puddle of water there. Bring that back slightly. And that is pretty much as easy as it is um, to make this stuff. And of course, this clear colour you see, it will actually go a lot greener. Uh, it will change the colour. So 
okay, it'll be completely different once it's set. So yeah, that's quite good. Get a bit more under the towel would be good. Just there. I think we'll leave it there. I think that's quite good. A little puddle of water. I've got a couple of bubbles in there. That's quite cool. I didn't know I could do that. That's cool. Well, there you go. And that is our scenic water. And they're really easy stuff to use. And um, I'll come back and show you that when it's dry. Probably tomorrow. Well, it's been about three to four hours. The grass is dried and it's done exactly what it needs to do. So I'm just gonna add these trees back in. Um, did mark these off. All right, so we're gonna put our trees back in. Very gently ease them into shape. That's that one. glue on the end of that. This is that gel glue. It's really really good. I need to push it into shape. Like that. Not overdressing it, just enough to do what it needs to do. I think there is another one here somewhere. I think it's there. Yep. Enough. Let's give us a nice little hole. What we'll do is we'll put this little bit in there. Again, a little double glue on the bottom. These will come for eventually, they'll get caught on something. It's inevitable, really. So where I've uh, regrossed the area and obviously added the water, I'm just going to add these rails back in, and these are just bits of rail that I wanted track. I always keep these bits, and all I've done is mixed up uh, weathering powder. So this is uh, rust. I think this is the iron oxide and black. So iron oxide, which is this one, and the black, which is that one. And I just add literally a drop of water in there, literally like that, one drop. And you just mix it up with water and you get this like painty fluid. And because it's not a perfect mix, I just literally do it on there. Look, I'll just see it on there. So you get variations in colour. You can just add a little bit of like that and then just paint that on. Being weathering powders, they stick really well to a lot of different materials. And you get your. Uh, just get a bit of black on there. They stick really well to all these sort of things. Just feather that in. Yeah, you get bits on it, doesn't matter though. That'll brush off. And leave that to dry. I've probably done a couple, so I leave them dry. It would dry within literally five minutes. It doesn't take long. And it's only water, so you can just wash your brush off afterwards. the lids on keep them nice and dry ready for another day all right so we're just going to place these back on here just going to keep that feathering off there we'll place three in here certainly look uh, very authentic That's it, and we've got one big long one which we can leave in the middle. I think we'll put that one there actually. Turn it that way because it's got a natural curve in it. Here we go. So, there you go. That's our area of scenery grassed and dressed with trees. 
and with water. So it's been 24 hours and this area is now all complete and finished. Uh, as you look down the uh, scenery there, you'll see that the foreground actually matches the background and uh, everything is exactly how it should be now. I'm really happy the way this is all turned out. Uh, the grass, I added an extra one millimeter on top of the two mil that I was uh, that I had originally. That's giving me a nice three mil depth on my grass. I didn't want it any higher than that. You can remember I did the trees, so I've added these little trees in there. Uh, just get you a bit of focus on there. Then we put our signs back in. And then because I added the accessories like the wheels, the sleepers, we've got our pallets, and these were the rails that I uh, rusted up with weathering powders and a little bit of water. If you remember, if you look back in the video, it will show you how to do that. Um, certainly. Um, really happy with this area now and if you remember uh, I showed you how I did the water on our little well down there you can see the little splash effect I didn't want to go too far um, but we've got a little spill of water using deluxe uh, easy water and then we added the little bit there of the well the piping came down into that foot uh, just to make sure that the water pipes actually got some purpose where they go but all in all, I'm really happy the way this has turned out. It certainly looks fitting on the layout and certainly um, certainly looks really good now, I'm really happy. So I'm just gonna carry on this kind of technique around the layout. So if anybody's doing grass, don't be scared, don't be put off. Um, all these can, things can be achieved. It's just practice and technique, and the more you practice, the better your technique. Um, anyway, I'm gonna leave it there for this video uh, on this one and uh, I've got some other projects that I'm doing, so please stay tuned. Uh, there's some great stuff coming up, and you will be blown away, no doubt about it, because I'm so excited about the next videos coming up. Anyway, guys, take care, and uh, look after yourselves, and happy modelling, and I'll see you all very soon.